Hey, you! You got multiples for sale inside. Damn way. Let's keep it, Bobby. This patrol is pointless. <laughs> Yo, ooh, look at the big shot. Oh, very bright. We have to run. Under suspicion of murder. Alex, did Janus actually have a plan for this robbery? Or does he expect me to shoot my way to the vault? He had someone slip a package into the bank manager's car. Someone? It's parked in the employee parking garage. Let me know when you've got it. I'm glad you're doing this, Adam. Access granted.
Okay, Alex, I got the package. Now what? There's supposed to be a data rod and an access card inside, but the card is blank. Jaina said we need to imprint it with biometrics from an active account holder. So what? Kidnap somebody and steal their DNA? <laughs> Maybe next week. Tonight we can get what's needed from an office on the third floor. According to a contact, the bank keeps Klein's profiles on a secure terminal there. So all I gotta do is get through security to find it. Great. However, this particular building is completely absolutely secure. Yeah. They say the inspectors have never breached the level. Allow me to finish with this yes. gentleman, sir. Absolutely secure. Data extractors have no, never breached the lobby. Well, the lobby. Hackers are everywhere. Not here. Exactly. Of course, physical security is also paramount, and Tarvas has an impeccable reputation. They were affiliated with Bell Tower, yes? Formally, yes. But so were most security companies before the incident. Why don't I schedule a meeting for you with our accounts manager? He can answer all your concerns and start the application process. Hmm, yes. Why don't we do that? Thank you. A pleasure, sir. Hello, sir. Welcome to Palisade. May I help you? Not sure. Never been to a property bank? I see. Well, we are the premier secure corporate archive in the world. We offer a number of services, including ultra-secure corporate vaults, as well as executive safes for smaller accounts. Exclusivity, anonymity, and security are the cornerstones and our greatest selling point. Makes sense. But security is a major concern for your clients. Oh, yes. Everything at Palisade is state-of-the-art. Security measures are audited regularly, and Tavos is a very well-respected private security firm. Would there be anything else? Your executive safes aren't available to anyone? Well, we do have an exclusive clientele, and the application process is rigorous. Despite this, almost all our safes are currently occupied. Your client list must be very impressive. It is. Mostly they are held by executives from our client companies, but some select individuals have been approved as well. But with the same high security standards, I hope. Oh, of course. And access to the executive safe room is restricted. Clients must use their assigned personalized keycards to gain entry. That's all. Sounds a little simple. It's a little bit more involved. The keycard also switches off all automated security measures within the vault. Lasers and sentries and the like. All very high tech. I think I'd like to see the account manager. Go ahead, sir. He has no appointments at the moment. I'll let him know you're coming. Mr. Romanek, I'm directing a gentleman to your office about opening an account. Welcome back, sir. How may I help you? Do you have any more questions? How big are the corporate vaults? Doesn't seem like this building would hold that many. Oh, quite big in fact. We call them container vaults. Like shipping containers. Our storage facility is actually right under our feet. Quite an impressive sight. Underground, makes sense. Great security feature. Absolutely. In addition, they are only visited by appointment and require the use of a client's keycard to access. So, this is a data haven? Well... <laughs> We don't use that term here, but yes. 
We archive highly sensitive materials and documents for some of the most powerful businesses and people in the world. No worries about corporate espionage here. Or government subpoenas. Our international clientele do tend to uh, disagree with the stance of their local governments as it pertains to uh, corporate rights, let's say. So they take advantage of this country's more pro-business legislation? Mm-hmm. Uh, I suppose that's one way of looking at it, if you were a cynic. I prefer to think that our clients shouldn't have to deal with small-minded anti-capitalist bureaucracies if they can avoid it. Thanks for the information. Jensen, it's Smiley. Your friend, Nomad Stanek, escaped custody. Agent Riley said he was... Yeah, I heard. His daughter's in trouble. Trouble? What kind of trouble? You know where they are? Adam, you need to go find them, both of them, before it's too late. I'm on it. Yes. Well, I'm sure that everything was taken into consideration by this Talvar and the boy. I'm sorry, sir. This is a restricted area. Only authorized personnel are allowed past this point. Thanks for the information. Yes. Some level of security windows are up to date security password. Good. Haven't heard from mezzanine level of a book of. I'm sorry, sir. The VIP vaults are only accessed by appointment, and there are no appointments scheduled. You need an appointment to access your own vault? For the corporate vaults, yes. This allows time for pre-loading your container into the viewing area. You also need your personalized keycard. Thanks for the information. Sorry, sir. The mezzanine floor is off limits to clients. My mistake. I was looking for the executive vaults. Those would be downstairs, sir. And upstairs? Executive offices and IT services. Employees only. Please see the receptionist if you have any more questions. Thanks. Granted.
Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Jensen, you said you were coming. I got caught up in something. I'll be there soon, Mr. Stanek. There is no more soon. You are too late. My little girl is gone. She's gone to their ascension. Mr. Stanek. Nomad. Ah, shit. How do you think Halvar and Oshiro really made their fortune? Why do you think Anakin would be served? Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. You still with me? I'm accessing the biometric terminal now. How's this supposed to work? The way Janus explained it, malware on the card will look for the profile of an authorized Versalife representative and clone it. I thought he said the card was blank. Technically, I said it. Sorry. But the card should be active now. Find the elevator to the basement and try it. Access granted. What these journalists overlook, however, is the damage these hackers leave in their wake. Last year, the collective shut down. Anomaly detected. Trace program 
initiated. Access granted. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Granted. Investors around the world today rejoiced at a decision by the Czech Republic to allow the expansion of lands for the State Bank Corporation.
The access card worked, Alex. I'm in the elevator, heading down. Janus is good, man. He said security measures prevent wireless communications near the vault, so you and I will lose contact soon. Meaning I'll be on my own from here on in. Just until you enter the VersaLife vault and plug the data rod into their terminal. Janus should be able to contact you directly once it's installed. He had me load a bunch of malware on it. Of course, you have to reach the vault access room and call down the VersaLife vault first. If you're stopped by security... Rightfully so. When you only answer to stockholders and the bottom line is your only concern, let me tell you, the way you make decisions is completely skewed. <laughs> How would you know? You're a security guard. And speaking of that, let's get back to it. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted.
denied. Granted. Just in case somehow you can hear me. I'm about to call down the Versalite Vault, Alex. Janice, can you hear me? Yes. The link is weak, but I can strengthen it. Wait, what are you doing? The data rod contains a secret program. It's flagging everything it finds on Project Orchid and sending it to me. Wait, wait, that's an audio file. Can I hear it? Hello? Bob, it's Megan. Those Orchid samples you told my new assistant to send to Switzerland? I asked him not to bother you. It's okay. I told him he could. But it's just... I've never heard of this guard facility before. A recent acquisition. I'll have to take you there someday. That's not necessary. Listen, the changes we made to the Orchid's CAS enzymes, they're incredibly dangerous. Until we perfect the replacement-based fragment, GARM's researchers must keep a neutralizing enzyme on hand. I've read your reports, Megan. I know all about the failures of the CRISPR molecule. I'm even keeping a sample of the neutralizer inside a secure vault in case your research gets corrupted. You are? Trust me, you have nothing to worry about. Thank you. I just wanted to be sure this time. Good night, Bob. Good night, my dear. Megan. Dr. Reed, you seem disappointed. She joined Versalife shortly before Seraph Industries closed. I assumed you knew. I don't suppose you know anything about this facility in Switzerland. Garm? I've been digging into it ever since your ex said the name. It was a geological research center until 2025, when Bell Tower Associates bought it. They didn't list it on their balance sheet when they filed for bankruptcy. Yeah. I guess they also forgot to mention the Spec Ops unit that went AWOL. I have to get to Garm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking about the augmented mercs who ambushed us in Dubai. If Paige sent them the Orchid. That's everything. Unless they're storing something physical in there. Either way, I suggest you leave soon. With the vault in that position, you should be able to exit through the shaft. Good luck, Mr. Jensen. Please don't forget the data rod when you leave. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Jane.
Miss, can you hear me? I think I found that neutralizing enzyme Megan and Paige were talking about. We don't have a lot of time, Mr. Jensen. We'll lose contact. No problem, I got this one. I might be able to save a life or two with this, if the orchid shows up again. It's Jensen. I've got a lead on the augmented Mercs who ambushed us in Dubai. You're supposed to be investigating the train station attack. Just hear me out. There's a research facility. Not like this, you don't. I'm en route to Prague now. She'll be landing at Chicane's helipad any minute. I'll hear you out there. Miller out.
Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access denied. You better have a good reason for digging around in Max Dubai investigation. I thought we'd agreed that... Ark is being set up. Someone wants us looking the other way, chasing the obvious target while they prepare their next attack. What? What are you talking about? Come on, Miller, it's too neat. You know as well as I do that Ark didn't hit us in Dubai. Is that so? Who's this someone then, huh? More blank pages? More ghosts? Like the ones you say took out Rucker? I don't know who they are, not yet. But I know where they are. I've traced them to an old bell tower facility in the Swiss Alps. Bell tower? They're just a bad memory. All their assets were sold off more than a year ago. And I'm sure if we look closely at some of the buyers, we'd be staring at a tangle of untraceable shell companies. You're throwing a lot of assumptions around here. What we need is evidence, Jensen. I told you. Did you even meet with Fletcher? Did you look into the evidence you found at the train station like you said you would? Yeah, and that took me all over town, away from the real doers, just like it was supposed to. So I decided I need to stop blindly following orders and follow my gut instead. Following your gut can sometimes blind you to the details, make you miss things. But I suppose if you've done enough legwork to support it. This bell tower facility, how the hell did you find it? Does it matter? TF-29 was formed to cut through the bullshit, to react quickly and effectively as soon as even a hint of a threat is identified. We have to check out this facility, even if we're just ruling it out. You need to... Cutting through the bullshit is one thing, but there are still protocols to follow. There's still a command to respect, so don't tell me how to do my job. I'm done wasting time here. Every second you spend chasing ghosts, the people we're after slip deeper into the shadows. Go back to the office and hand over everything you've found to McCready. He'll check into it. Hang on a sec, Chief. What if me and the Swiss Army Knife here did a little recon? Unofficially. You back Jensen's claims, Chicane? I'm not saying I'm committed to them, but if there's something there, it'd be the first time we're ahead of the bad guys. And if not, it's just government fuel. Fine. But it's a recon-only mission. If you find anything, you observe and you document. And then we send in Mac and the strike team. Agreed? Agreed. Then get out of here, both of you, before I change my mind.
Hope I don't regret hanging my ass out for you. Thanks for stepping in like that. I owe you one. You don't owe me nothing. I just hope you're right. You ready to go? When we first talked, you told me that your limp kept you honest. That's an interesting way of looking at an injury. Your preamble's as thin as soup, man. Don't dance around it, just ask it. I'm only curious. We've all got a story. No, that's not it. What you really want to know is, do I hate him? The man that tore out my knee. His name was Lachlan Beats. He was a laborer. Worked in the mines up near Bendigo before everything went to hell. Beats was a family man who did what he thought he had to do in order to provide for his family. See, back then, nobody could compete with you Ogs when it came to manual labor jobs. So, he made a choice, if you can call it that. And his choice changed your life. You don't resent Beats for what happened? But I resent are the men who coaxed men like him to get augmentations. Men who enforced a system where the rich could buy artificial expertise without thinking about what it would cost all of us in the end. No, I don't resent him. At least not anymore. I was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. Story of my life. So look, on that sunshiny note, what do you say we put some miles behind us? I'm curious. You stepping in to convince Miller to greenlight this mission. Why'd you do it? You mean because we aren't exactly pals, that it? Well, maybe dragging your ass out of Gollum gave me a taste of something I hadn't had in a long time. Getting sick of flying limousine service. I might be wrong, you know, there could be nothing there. Hey, you don't believe that. But if you are wrong, well, at least the view will be pretty. What do you say we go find out? Yeah, fire it up. <laughs>